Good morning. It's currently 6.19 a.m. on what day is today? Thursday, July 7th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I'm feeling a little bit zonked. I vaguely feel like the last couple of nights I have not been getting as much rest from my sleep. Like I've been getting enough sleep by duration but I'm feeling less well rested. I'm not sure why that would be. Perhaps it is my imagination. Eh. We'll see if that is a continuing trend or a problem or what, but uh, in the meantime, so yesterday, uh, as previously mentioned, was my first day of uh, trying out the public transportation commute. I have learned some things. One is that it definitely does take longer than the equivalent drive in this case, uh, just based on Google Maps estimates. Uh, but that said, I mean, you know, that's not really the primary consideration in this case because um, when I talk about the amount of time um, for the drive in that context, that was assuming that I'm parking at the nearest parking garage near where I'm going, which costs $18 a day if I were to park there. And uh, that's a not insignificant uh, amount. So if, you know, so what I have to take into account when I'm making the comparison is not just the amount of time, but also, you know, $18 a day that's, you know, how much am I saving? Not to mention if I am taking public transportation. Luna's doing something in the kitchen. What are you doing in there, Luna? Are you doing something you shouldn't be, Luna? <laughs> Not anymore. Um... <laughs> Uh, so when you're making the, you know, doing the, the math, if you will, you have to take into account more than just the door-to-door -door amount of time that it takes. So if I am not only not going to need to have to pay for parking, but also compared to where I was driving from my last place, you know, it was just uh, I was spending half an hour going down the turnpike every day, and uh, so that's gas and uh, toll, you know, going through there. So that's, uh, you know, that's a significant savings there. So that's on top of the, uh, you know, so even if it does take longer, you know, I'm saving money as a consequence. So there's that. Um, I learned a few other things. One is that I'm having to walk in direct sunlight more than I feel like I typically would. It adds a significant element of that. And as a fair-skinned individual, uh, that is something that I cannot, uh, I cannot ignore. So what I may need to start doing is wearing sunscreen on a more regular basis. Also getting sunglasses. Um, that That's probably something that I'm going to do. In fact, because there is a nearby 24-hour pharmacy to where uh, I, I'm going on my route, I may just uh, pick some of that up uh, on the way in this morning. I'm going to have to figure out what the actual new schedule is as far as time. You know, like how much time do I have to allow in order to get where I'm going in the morning. Um, but yeah, you know, on the whole, it, was, it worked. You know, I got where I was going. Um, the subway has so far been busy enough that I'm not able to, like the two times I've been on it so far, I was having to stand on that part. And it's not a long time, so I don't mind that, but it's also just, you know, if if I was uh, able to sit down the whole time, that's something that, you know, it's like, well, well what else could I be doing while making that ride? Um, but, uh, 
Yeah, that's not as good. And then also on the bus, where I have been able to sit down, uh, there are generally two types of seats. There's the seats that are facing forward and the seats that face sideways. And the seats that face sideways are less well suited to uh, making me not get motion sick with all the stopping and starting. So I think the forward facing seats when available is going to be my go to moving forward. Moving forward. All right. I'm done with that now. Good night. <laughs> Good night. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.